I'm Karen Farnsworth of Wildflower Quilting, and this video is about point-to-point -point concatenation. Today I'm going to demonstrate point-to-point -point concatenation using my new set of designs, the November Block and Triangle set. I will be using the triangles from this set to show you concatenation. What it means to concatenate is to alternate two or more patterns in a sequence or a series of designs. Point to point is what we now call draw pattern. So I will select patterns in my project, in my list here, and then use the draw pattern icon to place them in the order that I've selected them. So the first pattern I want to choose is leaves right here, so it's selected, and then I need to hold the control key down while I select the second design. And I want to alternate kind of a swirly organic pattern with a more modern line pattern. So I'll do leaves and then I'll do modern plaid. And then I'll come to Whimsy Love, hold the control key down, and click that third pattern. So I've got three patterns selected and one more. Control, select a fourth design. Now draw pattern. And I can place my patterns using draw pattern. And because I selected four different designs, they will be placed in the sequence that I selected them. That's a simple way to vary the designs that you put on a quilt and still have them connect so they'll stitch continuously. Another way I can place designs in triangles is selecting the short side but going backwards. So I need to start over here and click on the corners, choose the two short sides, and work my way across the quilt. So that will also fill those blocks. This creates a really different look because I've combined two triangles in each of these triangle blocks. Another thing that I might want to try is placing two of the same triangle in each of these blocks. So let's delete these really quick. And if I want to place two copies of leaves in this one triangle, I need to select two copies of that pattern in my pattern list. So I need to duplicate this pattern. So I now have two copies of that pattern in the list. Then I might duplicate the plaid pattern as well. So I have two copies of that one. Then duplicate Whimsy. And this time we are going to use this modern fans. So duplicate that one as well. Since I have two copies of this pattern, I can select one, hold the control key down, select the second design, and then go to the next pattern I want to use and select both copies of that. The next pattern, select both copies, and then I'm going to come back up here and select this modern fans. So now I have eight patterns selected, and I will go to draw pattern, and then place one design, two designs, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But since I chose two of each design, now the effect I get is a more uniform look because I've placed two of the same pattern in each triangle. The same process can be used to place patterns in on-point squares. But this time, I want to choose one copy of each pattern and then a second copy of each pattern because my sequence will be to place pattern A, pattern B, pattern C, pattern D, Pattern D, Pattern C, Pattern B, Pattern A. So let's come back up here and choose Pattern A, B, C, D, and then I'm going backwards. So D, C, then the second design that I chose, and back to the first design. As long as you select your patterns in the sequence you want them to be placed on screen, you'll get exactly the effect you're looking for. Draw pattern, 
and we will just click opposite corners of these squares. And just like that, I've filled those squares. I've got some really cool blocks to quilt out. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.